It was also with Adam that we first became acquainted with the Schlieren imaging system. Schlieren is the German word for streaks, as in streaks of air. The Schlieren process captures minute changes in the air patterns surrounding matter. All we got to do is have you get right at the target, and we'll be able to see everything. Let's check to see. Okay. Give it up for playback. Nice, you got it. Time Warp's high-speed camera shooting through the Schlieren system confirmed that a snap of Adam's bullwhip creates a sonic boom. Let's see that again. The curved line ahead of the whip is actually an image of the sound barrier breaking. After Adam left the laboratory, our boy stuck around to shake it up with the Schlieren and hang out with MIT professor Jim Bales. By setting up this system, we can see very small changes in density, changes caused by a fraction of a degree in the air temperature, and we'll see how the light is bent. We're going to introduce this mind-bending Schlieren to some of the classic objects of our affection. Bubbles, bullets, and balloons. First up, bubbles. We previously documented the beauty of a bursting bubble in slow-mo. Behold the bubble seen with the Schlieren system for a totally new perspective. The effects of the inert gases on the bubble's surface are now visible. Yeah, it's very much like a, some faraway planet or something. It's so cool when it's dripping out, how much it influences currents all over the bubble. And the burst? After the pop, there's yeah. definitely some kind of temperature pressure wave coming off ah, there. That one's easy. It looks like there's a temperature difference because I'm full of hot air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my breath. It's warmer in the room. You see the difference when you pop the bubble and you let that warmer air come so out. So we're just seeing that, that finally get a chance to escape. You got it. Watch them again side by side. Two different glimpses of the same unseen world. Cool. Remember Olympic skeet shooter Sean McClelland? All right, so we get all the balloons on this one. Okay. Yep, bye. Here we illustrated shotgun pellets taking out a gaggle of balloons. Very cool at warp speed. But what happens to the escaping helium? At the Schlieren lab, we can show you. There it is. And there it goes. Look at that. Right when it punctures through, you can see the shock wave go through the whole outside. You see that, and then you start to see it outgas the helium. And it's just, I mean, it looks like it goes on fire. Escaping helium creates air turbulence the way flames do. Turbulence that's normally invisible to the naked eye. Now, we just showed you what a speeding bullet looks like. But time warping through Schlieren gives us an entirely new angle. All right, we're about to load the rifle. Eyes and ears on. Now let's see if there isn't more to marvel at in the sight of a speeding bullet courtesy of the Schlieren. We are loaded. One, two, three. At the top, a bullet in regular slow motion. At bottom, a slow motion bullet that's also been processed through the Schlieren. Watch as the bullet literally deforms the atmosphere. These curved lines are formed by hot and compressed air flowing around it, much like water around the bow of a boat. Again, we are literally seeing air under pressure. An amazing glimpse into a corner of our natural world that once was invisible. We normally slow things down that are really hard to see, but yeah. here we're actually seeing something that's totally invisible, making it visible. Yeah. Would it be safe to say that with this setup, mm -hmm. that we can see a fraction of refraction, catch the action for maximum compaction, my feet have killer traction.